Hi guys, welcome to this easy lesson, which is for Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. I'm gonna teach you an easy way to play the entire song right here, right now on YouTube. So if you wanna learn that, just keep on watching. For now, I'm gonna play a little part first, and then I'll tell you exactly how to play it. Okay, so this song is actually really easy to play. Let's have a look above the piano for the chords. We've got D, C and G. And if you don't know what that means, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to tell you all of the notes you have to play anyway. But if you want to learn a little bit more about that, please have a look in the description box down below. For now, the left hand is going to be playing octaves. So you play your uh, pinky and your thumb at the same time. And it's the same note. So the notes that you're going to play is D... C and G. It's that easy. So right here, a D octave, a C octave, and then a G octave. Okay? Uh, the right hand is going to play D A D, then C G C, and then G M B. Okay? So like this. Right there. Now, you're not going to play the right hand at the same time. You're going to play the low one twice. Then the top, and then the middle one. So D, 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 A, and the same for C, 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 G, and then you just play this. Okay, so like this. Okay, let's combine that with left. Like that, okay? Now you can also play this little thing at the end, B, D, E, F sharp, E, D. So you get... Etc. Okay? That's B, D, E, F sharp, E, D. So then, uh, so then the right hand together with left would be... Like that. Okay. Now that's the first part you need to learn. After that, the chords are going to be the same, but we're just going to play those chords right here. All I'm doing right there is I'm playing these three chords. The G chord is being played twice as long as the other ones, okay? So the left hand is still playing a D octave, a C octave, and a G octave. And the right hand is actually playing those chords. A, D, and F sharp for D. G, C, E for C, and G, B, D for G. So right here. Like that, okay? Let's combine it with left. Like that. Now the other option you've got for D is instead of playing A D F sharp, you could play F sharp A D. Okay, makes it sound a little bit lower, of course, and you get this. Okay? So instead of just playing the right hand once, you might want to play the right hand twice. You can basically drum on the piano a little bit and pick your own patterns. So you can play once, or you can play the right hand twice, or you could play which is something uh, different, which is twice, left, right, and then right, right, left, right. And, you know, what I'm basically doing is rolling these chords. So, if you try that a little bit yourself, just keep on playing these chords, and you will figure out different ways to play it and ways you actually like it. And that's basically it. These three chords make up the entire song. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up right now if you like this lesson. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and all I've got left to say is keep playing.